Hi, I am Judy May B. Paras from 11th STEM Wisdom, and I am discussing about the types of discontinuity. How do we know if a function is continuous at x is equal to c? A function is continuous at x is equal to c if f of c exists, limit f of x as x approaches to c exists, f of c is equal to limit f of x as x approaches to c. Beside this is the example of the graph of discontinuities. What is job discontinuity? It is a discontinuity that leaps around wildly as it approaches the limit. This makes it impossible to close the gap and perform computations on the function. Thus, the second name, irremovable discontinuity. The next one is the removable discontinuity. A removable discontinuity is a graph point that is undefined or does not fit with the rest of the graph. At that point in the graph, there is a void at the place where the graph is undefined or has a different value. A removable discontinuity is shown by an open circle on the graph. Lastly, infinite discontinuity. An infinite discontinuity has one or more infinite limits, which are numbers that increase in size as you go closer to the function's gap. An infinite discontinuity is a subtype of essential discontinuities, which are a large group of misbehaving discontinuities that can't be removed. So we have the removable discontinuity. Example, f of x is equal to x squared minus 9 over x plus 3. And then papalitan natin ng negative 3 ang x sa ating equation. So magiging f of negative 3 is equal to negative 3 squared minus 9 over negative 3 plus 3. And then, it will become 9 minus 9 over negative 3 plus 3. And the result is 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. Next one is the limit f of x as x approaches to negative 3 is equal to x squared minus 9 over x plus 3. So, if a factor natin ang x squared minus 9 over x plus 3, and then magiging limit f of x as x approaches to negative 3 is equal to x minus 3, x plus 3 over x plus 3. And then we're going to cancel out ang magkaparehas, which is the x plus 3 in the numerator and the denominator. And ang matitira na lang natin is the x minus 3. So, magiging limit f of x as x approaches to negative 3 is equal to x minus 3. We're going to replace the x with negative 3. So, it will become the negative 3 minus negative 3 is equal to negative 6. And lastly, f of, f of negative 3 is equal to limit f of x as x approaches to negative 3. And we're gonna use a piecewise function. So, it will become f of x is equal to x squared minus 9 over x plus 3 if x is not equal to negative 3. And then, negative 6 if x is equal to negative 3. So, let's go to the job discontinuity. Example, f of x is equal to x minus 1 if x is less than or equal to 1. And x x squared plus 1 if x is greater than 1 at x is equal to 1. So, ang gagamitin natin is yung nasa una, which is x minus 1 if x is less than or equal to 1. Okay, f of 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. It is defined since the function that is used in is polynomial which is x minus 1. So, kunin natin ang limit f of x as x approaches to 1 to the right. So, ang gagamitin naman natin ay yung nasa baba. Limit f of x as x approaches to 1 to the right is equals to 1 squared plus 1 which is 1 plus 1 and then equals to 2. 
and the limit f of x as x approaches to 1 from the left is 0. It is not equal. So that's why it is a jump discontinuity or non-removable. Then the infinite discontinuity example. f of x is equals to x squared plus 5 over x squared plus x minus 20 at x is equals to negative 5. So, papalitan natin ng negative 5 ang mga x sa ating equation. So, magiging negative 5 squared plus 5 over negative 5 squared minus 5 minus 20. So, it is it now become 25 plus 5 over 25 minus 25, which is equals to 30 over 0.